Every night I've been packing up books to ship out. Last night I packed more than usual because I ran out of ink to print labels. So I'll have a big, big batch of my book going out. And um, so it's really exciting. I'm, I'm, it's, it's been almost a full year since I started the Kickstarter and it's been over a year since I wrote the first draft of the book. So I'm, I'm just thrilled that everybody can uh, start to read it. And the digital copy will be sent out hopefully this weekend. I also published the first of two studies to try to understand if brewing espresso creates more fines in the process. Um, so this is a comment somebody asked me and in in, um, thought it be, might be an interesting experiment. And so it turned out to be one that was pretty easy to do with the tools I had. So I, I ran one and the, the second part comes out this Friday. Um, so it was fun. Go check out my page and check it out. So my shots today were all crazy high extraction. They were um, very intense. And I started modifying the profiles a little to better understand it. So this first shot was, um, I believe, like 19% uh, TDS at 22% extraction yield. Um, and this is uh, Robusta. And Robusta at the strength is, especially specialty Robusta, it's a different, different animal. So then I went to my, uh, the one roast that there's, it had an issue in chipping, so there's an odd little taste to it, but it was a, a lactic um, maceration processed. And this one tasted really good. So um, the this first shot is um, something similar. It's, it's like 19% at um, uh, 22 percent extraction yield. Um, and then I, I tweaked the profile a little bit and um, uh, I need to reincorporate pressure pulsing, which I haven't yet. This is just a flat infusion. But um, this shot, I, I um, allowed the pressure to go to two bars. The previous limit was 1.5 bars. And uh, this shot is 20% TDS and 23% extraction yield. I mean, this is like, these are like insane numbers. And I know for dark roast, it, it's easier to get this kind of extraction. And part of this is also temperature. Um, so I like the, the struggle I have is if you can crank up the temperature for a lighter roast, you can do the same thing. Um, so I, I think I'm gonna play around with um, more steam pre-infusion for my lighter roast because I have some lighter roast, Colombian roast that coming up. So uh, this is just, um, uh, this uh, nitro lactic maceration one, I made a shot to put in milk for my, my wife. And um, I've been trying to get close to an actual single shot. So this is like eight grams of coffee in, and then with a really hard tamp. Um, and I can get um, something like 20% extraction yield on like 16% TDS. Okay, so this shot is 17% TDS at um, 19 percent extraction yield and this is off roast by 10 days um, and I did uh, humidified treatment on it and this is a mix of coffees left over from a uh, cup of excellence the Colombian one that Iver gave me um, and it was insanely good uh, even though there obviously is some channeling there so. so that one will get better especially with time as that roast uh, settles more because I've been really aiming for medium roast to use it three or four weeks because that's really when extraction yield is optimal. And this is the top paper filter I've been using. Um, so I really encourage anyone using a decent espresso machine to try cutting a paper filter like this. And all you have to do is take a circular paper filter, uh, fold it a few times, and then you can make two cuts. Um, so it's kind of like making snowflakes. Um, actually, that's, that's a great name for it, Snowflake Top, pa top Paper Filter. 
uh, give it a try. And I think it, this will help with other machines too that are prone to side channeling, especially lever machines and E61 machines because the water comes in from the sides. Now the decent espresso machine, the, the bigger issue is, aside from the water coming from the sides is that the water comes in, uh, starts from the left side just slightly. And I'm putting together a composite of some other videos of other people's shots showing that this is happening. And it's hard to debug like how this affects the shot later on. But if you start flow on one side sooner than the other side, you're going to have some channeling. Um, and so making some modifications should yield you a good effect on the shot. Come back for more tomorrow. And if you really like my stuff, buy my book.